Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee and this week I'm going to show you how to produce these No Tools Santa Hats nail art. Now this design was inspired by Sarah Orman Health and Beauty when I first started out as a nail technician. Keep watching to find how easy it is to replicate this look. As always, I'm going to begin by cleansing my nails after filing and performing cuticle work and there's a link in the top right corner of how I do this with my nails. And links to all the products are in the description. Begin with a base coat and I like Unts Ready for Takeoff Peel Off Base Coat as it means I can change my manicure regularly without dehydrating my nails with acetone or nail polish remover. Apply to all 10 nails and allow to dry. For the next stage, I'm using a semi-sheer nude and this one is OPI's Privacy Please. Apply a nice even coat to all of the nails and allow to dry. If you don't have a nude polish, you can just let the natural colour of your nails shine through, but I prefer the look with this nice peachy colour. Before going on to the next stage, I'm going to apply some quick drying top coat and this is because I'm going to be using a matte polish, so I find it makes the matte look much more effective and stops the actual matte polish dragging the colour up into the brush. Again, this stage is optional, but I like to try and produce the best finished look and this is the way to do it really. Apply to all 10 nails and allow to dry. Next, I'm going to apply a matte top coat and this OPI one is my favorite to date. I've tried about five or six now and this one still comes out the best. But if you know a better matte top coat than this one, please let me know in the comments as I'm always happy to try new products. I think this polish has just become my new Christmas favourite and it's called From Riches to Rubies by All That Jazz. We're just going to apply it like a rough French line. Now obviously my nails are very long so I'm having to apply it a little bit further up than where my actual free edge starts but you can actually apply it just like a normal French. Don't worry about it looking too perfect as we're going to be covering up the edge shortly with some white. For the tail of the hat, just drain some of the polish off the brush and then just take it down on the edge with a little corner sweep. Again, this doesn't have to be too perfect as there's going to be a pom-pom at the end of the little sweep. Once you've done that to all 10 nails and you're happy with the look, just allow it to dry. And then go in with your second coat. On my second coat, I decided to do the tail slightly differently and this worked better actually, so you can choose whichever method out of the two that works for you. Apply your second coat over the tip and this polish is so good that really two coats is more than enough. Again, apply to all 10 nails, get it nice and even and when you're happy with it, just leave it to dry. Next, I'm going to apply some top coat over the red and this is just because we're going to be using glitter shortly and we don't want it to stick to our polish. So this quick drying top coat from Glisten and Glow is really good and dries nice and glossy and really quickly. Just make sure that you've covered all the red, but try to avoid going onto your matte top coat as we want to keep that velvet look underneath. Once that's fully dry, it's time to go in with your white and I'm using French Tip from Colour Club because this is a super opaque and rather thick white. And we're just going to dab it across the line of where the red is. And this is to make that fluffy Santa hat trim. Just keep going over it until you're happy with the look and don't forget the pom-pom right at the very end. But try to work quickly if you can as we want to apply glitter to this wet polish. So it's best to do the white one nail at a time. If however it's taken you a while to get the look right, then get the look how you want it first and then go back in with the white and dab over the top to make sure that there's some wet polish for your glitter to stick to in a moment. Now I'm going to be using Blossom Glitter from Magpie Beauty for this tutorial and I have to say that the Magpie Glitters are my absolute favourite brand at the moment. We're just going to tap this over the nail but underneath the nail I've actually put a piece of paper so that we can collect all the glitter together at the end that's not used and pop it back into the bottle. When you've tapped your nail to remove the excess just carefully go in with a dry brush and remove any off the top coat. If you want to, you can just blow on your fingernail, just do it away from that spare glitter that's underneath the nail, otherwise it could end up very messy. And here's a close up of that beautiful blossom glitter on the white and it just adds a real lovely finishing touch that picks up the light so beautifully. 
As always, we're going to finish the look with a slick of cuticle oil, and my current favourite is the Simply Pure Hydrating Oil from Bliss Kiss. Try to avoid getting on that matte top coat because it will make it go shiny. So just apply it round the nail and then massage in well. And here's the finished look. This is so cute for Christmas. I'm actually currently wearing it at the moment and I'm thinking about keeping it on for my Christmas night out. Please let me know how you get on with this complete no tools Santa hat nail art and I'd love to hear your ideas of how to change it or make it a bit personalised to you. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this tutorial, please don't forget to check out my other nail tutorials, including a range of no tools nail art and how to make your own nail art tools. Please also don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed this. And if you want to see real life behind these videos, please take a look at my second channel, Ginger Tash. Thanks for watching.